Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good night everybody. Thank you for attending my presentation today. Okay, before we jump into my explanation, let me introduce myself. I'm Rizky Octaviano, 1901-8102 from K4-19-2000, I mean K4-2019. Okay, my topic for today's presentation is using Instagram as a tool for online peer review activity in writing descriptive text for senior high school students. This article by Jeffrey Bobby Sirait and Memleni Marlina. Next. Okay, we're going to start with the introduction. So, there are three problems that students usually face in writing. First, almost all of the students are non equitance components of any kinds of writing yet. Second, the next problem that almost all of the students have to face is the grammar errors. Those two problems that I've said before should be solved in order to make a better writing for the students. Okay, so basically the purpose of this paper is to explain how Instagram can be used as a peer review tool for writing descriptive text to senior high school students. Okay, in addition, Ahmed stated that writing competence will help students to perform well, good in their academic program. In conclusion, writing in language learning is an ability that the students have to master because writing is very useful in education, business, and daily life. Okay, so as we can see, uh, there are pre-writing. Pre uh, according to Squire and Winner, uh, pre-writing is a warming up activity before the writers start to commit uh, a topic. Therefore, pre-writing is an activity that the writer has to do before choosing a topic itself. There are eight strategies that should be followed in pre-writing. Those strategies are discussing the ideas, exploring topic on internet, browsing the library, free associating, making a list, brainstorm some questions, scratching and or diagramming the topic, and last but not least, keeping a journal. Next. After we've done the pre-writing uh, phase, uh, let's move to drafting and writing. Uh, this, you know, in this step, students start to make a rough draft of their writing. According to again Squire and Winner, there are tips for writing a rough draft. Those tips are using pre-writing, as I said before, writing a first draft and showing it around. Next. Okay, so the third one is sharing and responding. This step in writing process when the writer share his or her writing to his or her friends. <laughs> the writer asks his or her friends to review his or her writing. The process when the writer asks his or her friends to review his or her writing called as peer review. Next. Okay, the next we have revising and editing. In this step of writing process, there are two things that the writer has to do. According to Reed, uh, revision takes place in the whole writing process, but the writer needs to focus on five elements. Those elements are content, organization, headings, opening and closing, and language. Editing is a final process in writing after the writer do the revision of course the writer has to edit the grammar punctuation or spelling and everything ready to uh, what they've uh, wrote before next okay last but not least publishing in this process the writer will share their final draft in writing this step could be done whether through many ways the writer can do this stage by printing the final draft or also can share the writing through online. Teaching writing in senior high school needs some varieties and interesting ways. For senior high school students, writing is a difficult thing to do because senior high school students in general lack of writing skill. 
According to Siswita and Hafiz, 2014, teachers have to carry out an attractive way in teaching writing because by using an attractive and something new in teaching writing can make senior high school students will be interested in studying. Next. Okay, we're entering, we're entering the discussion session. Okay, so in this discussion of the paper, actually there are three stages in teaching descriptive text for high school students. First, uh, the, uh, okay, wait. Descriptive text is one of the genre which is stated in the syllabus for senior high school grade 10 on basic competencies. Seven, in the syllabus stated that students have to learn about descriptive text about people, tourism, place, and historical building. Okay. Furthermore, in teaching descriptive text for the senior high school grade 10, the author has already created the lesson plan related with the use of Instagram as a tool for online peer review activity in writing descriptive text for senior high school students. The lesson plan is divided into three parts, namely pre-teaching, while teaching, and post-teaching. Okay, so in teaching descriptive text for senior high school students, there are three stages that I've explained before. Okay, so first, explaining about descriptive text and its parts. Before teacher explain about the descriptive text, teacher show a video about descriptive text and then continue to ask students some question related to the video before. After that, the teacher show the students an example of descriptive, te descriptive text and then the students are asked to read the text and comprehend the idea of that text. After that, the teacher will ask. Okay, after that, the teacher will ask the students about the generic structures of the descriptive text. The students are asked to guess it first. Okay, so they have to guess before, you know, making the descriptive text. After the generic structures are explained, the teacher will continue explaining the language features and social function of the descriptive text. After that, the teacher explaining about the descriptive text uh, to the students, and then the students are asked to start writing the descriptive text. Next. Next is writing the descriptive text about historical building. After the students comprehend the descriptive text, they will be asked to write it. The students will be asked to write the descriptive text through some stages, namely brainstorming, drafting, revising, editing, and publishing. First of all, the students are asked to pour all of their ideas through brainstorming. Which is with Taker says that brainstorming is write everything that you know about your topic, information and options, uh, opinions, I mean, sorry, that related to your topic. After the students done with the brainstorming, they will continue to the next stage, namely drafting. The students will start their product from the draft. Uh, there will be more than one draft used in order to make a good writing. Therefore, drafting will take longer time to do. Next. Okay, so next is revising the descriptive text. In this phase or in this stage, there will be three steps. There are self-revising, pair revising, and group revising. In the revising stage, uh, the students will do self-revision -revi first. The first draft will be revised through self-revision. After the students are uh, sure with, that, with what they've done, they have to give uh, the first draft to other students in order to revise it. Then, after the first draft revised by other students, it will be revised to the writer in order to, uh, in order to revise it and write the second draft. After the second draft being revised, performing. Uh, sorry, sorry. After the second draft. Uh, being revised, becoming the third draft, it will be revised through group online revision using Instagram. The produce, uh, the procedure of group revision will be explained later. At the first, the group revision will be done 
in the classroom first, then it will be continued outside the classroom. Next. Okay, how to use Instagram in making descriptive text. Instagram will be used as a tool for online peer review activity in writing the descriptive text. Furthermore, there will be some stages involved as follow. First, next, okay, making making the Instagram account. In order to make this activity happen, each of the student has to have their own Instagram account. Then the students will be asked to follow the class account where it already prepared before with locked profile. Next. Sending the writing to the admin of the group class account. Each of students will send their file to the admin. After that, the admin will post the writing to class group account. Next. <coughs> giving feedback and comments after writing posted the other students of the group will give comments and feedback for the writing uh, each of the students will will be commented and you know giving feedback based on the format next Here are the advantages of using Instagram as online peer review tool. First, Instagram is proposed to increase students' motivation in writing. Next. Instagram is convenient and easy to use. Next. Using Instagram as online peer review tool needs less paper. Next. Using Instagram as online peer review tool, more flexible in using time. Next. Social media services allow for multimedia interaction. Next. Students will take responsibility for their works. Next. Okay. We move to the limit and the disadvantages which may appear in using Instagram as online peer review tool. First, uh, of course, we need smartphone, PC, or laptop, right? Next. We also need internet connection, I mean the stable internet connection to do so. Next. The students will spare more time on playing commoners games and chatting online. Next. Okay, we jump into the conclusion. Instagram is a social media which is used to share photos and videos. It is also can be applied for other to include uh, for teaching like and learning setting the social media will be capable for a tool for online peer review activity for writing matter okay so using instagram as online peer review tool has four advantages first of all using instagram will motivate students to write since instagram is social media that has been used by many people using it as a tool will be motivating the students for writing more and more next So basically, Instagram has three main features that are applicable for writing problems. The features that can be used for writing are making caption, giving and replying comments, and editing or deleting uh, caption and comment. Those three features are applicable for writing matters, especially for online peer review. Next. <coughs> Using Instagram will use less paper because it will be done through online just like what we done next using instagram will be efficient in spending time because it can be done anywhere 
However, the use of Instagram software for peer review cannot be done without having, like, like I said before, handphone, uh, PC, laptop, or gadgets, and without internet connection, of course. Next. Okay. Steps that should be followed in order to apply Instagram as a tool for online peer review activity in writing descriptive text. So, revised draft that have been done by the students after pay revision is given to admin of group class account. Next. The admin will post each of the draft of on the Instagram. Each draft will be posted on the Instagram class account. Next. After the draft has been posted, other students are asked to give their comments or feedback for the draft. After the due time comes, the students will submit the final draft to the teacher. Next. Okay, so actually the writer of this article have some suggestions that really have to be said. Okay, let me, you know, let me explain it to you. One, for other author in this paper, using Instagram as a tool for online peer review activity is still for descriptive text only. This technique actually can be applied to other genres or text such as narrative, recount, procedure, and so on, so on. Next. In addition, this paper is addressed to senior high school grade 10. This technique probably can be used for other levels such as grade 11, 12, or even for junior high school students. Next. For teachers, they are suggested to be accustomed in using Instagram in order to make the process of the teaching and learning setting go smoothly. Next. For students, they are suggested to be accustomed in doing online peer review activity in order to make their skill in writing getting improved. Next. Okay, so that's all from me. We've come to the end of the session of the, my presentation. So, this particular quote, uh, you know, I'd like to share to y'all. <laughs> Let me read it. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams by Eleanor Roosevelt. So, I think that's all for today's presentation. If you are, you know, you, if you have any question, are welcomed. Okay. Okay, it looks like you all have understood what I've said. Uh, what, well, about my explanation, I mean, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for sparing time here. Thank you so much for paying attention to what I've uh, explained. Have a good night, y'all. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.